Hey everybody, here I am with another fun little unboxing. Take a guess. Take a guess. <laughs> what do you think it is? You may have seen this already because some other people have already done one. Um, this is interesting. I mean, I had mine ordered and then I started seeing other people unbox theirs and I was like, okay, gotcha. Anyhow, mine came from the Amy Lee store on AliExpress. Um, it took 14 days to get here. They have got it wrapped up like they don't want me to get it out. So we got a bag and a black trash bag. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Gotta love packaging. Well, they don't want anything to happen to it. All right. It cost $8.55. Um, and it'll, it'll be interesting. It will be interesting. I hope Mrs. Crochet and Coffee catches this video. If she doesn't, somebody give her a heads up. Okay, so. Black outer trash bag. White bag. Box. <laughs> yep, it's pretty protected. It's pretty protected. So, it is a little diamond painting project, and I'm just going to wait. All right, there's a little picture here on the end of the box, but I'm just going to wait. Oh, and then I tear the box. Of course, I tear the box. Not that I'm going to keep the box, but, you know, yeah, I tore it. Okay. So, in case you didn't know what comes in this little tiny package like this, with hearts on it, and hearts... On the top, it's the little tissue box that doesn't fit any tissues. <laughs> and what else is on the box? Hello, kitty. Isn't it cute? Oh, my goodness. They had a few that had like a, a picture. Like there was a just a smiley emoji. And there weren't a lot that had pictures. Patterns, solid colors, tiger stripes, that kind of stuff. But... There weren't a lot that had an actual picture, but Hello Kitty. Can you resist Hello Kitty? I watched somebody unbox one earlier and learned how they put their tissues in here. So I'll have to play with that. So the little box is plastic. The lid comes off the bottom and all of our supplies are inside. So you do drill all the way around. You get five sides that are drilled. The bottom, of course, is not drilled. How cute, though. And then each of these has a little plastic covering, and you pull back and attach your drills. Isn't that stinking cute? You guys, it's so cute. I, I don't, I'm going to have to go watch that video again and see how she put the tissues in there. But we'll get to that. Just sit there and look at Hello Kitty. I'm going to open up this toolkit and these drills. All right. We get this. I love this. People have made fun of this. I use this for my trash drills. When I'm doing a painting, I have this sitting right there, and this is what my trash drills go into. I love it. Absolutely love it. Pink pen. Oh, my gosh. I don't know where they're coming up with these little tiny pieces of wax, but you guys, <laughs> it is the smallest, smallest little piece. I mean, look how big my hand is. Smallest piece of wax I've ever seen. Okay. Oh, these all come in separate packages. All of these drills are separate. Okay. So let's look at what we have. Well, we have some just 310 blacks. Okay. Got that. My guess is that makes the outline all the way around Kitty and around her bow. All right. What else do we have? Some really pretty pink faceted rounds. And we have some smaller. These would be what we would consider rhinestones. So these are the same color. But we have large and we have small. Well, larger and smaller. Okay. Then I think we repeat the same kind of deal here with silvers. These are small, like rhinestone size, and these are a little bit larger. So those are silver. Those are the same. Okay. We got black, pink, silver. We got a little tiny bit of gold. Oh, that's for her nose. Look. Nose, yellow, yellow, nose. Got it? Okay, got it. And then there's these guys. Okay, these are even bigger silver. 
So we have three sizes of the silver. We have small, medium, and large. All right, and then two sizes of pink, a gold, and a black. Isn't it cute? I mean, okay, maybe it's not practical, but if I can, I'm going to find that video, and I'm going to figure out how to put the tissues in here. She just took tissues out of a box, and she did something like she just folded them in half, and then made sure one came out the top, and they just pulled out like they should, you know, like a normal tissue box, but you got to take out, like, you know, you got to take out a little stack, and you got to fold them and put them in there. So, so stinking cute, all right? I'm going to finish this up before I finish this video. You'll see this whole thing beginning to end because I want you to see it. Too cute. And the little baby, baby wax. Hmm? Okay, so this was fun. Anyhow, um, you'll see me in a little bit when I get drills on that cute little box. And hopefully I'll have checked out that video and learned how to stuff some tissues in there. So I'll see you when it's done. So I'm back with the finish, the finish, here we go. Um, it's super cute, okay, but I can tell I need to do some repair work on it because some things have fallen off it. But there it is, it's Hello Kitty. So she's on that side. We just have a heart on that side. Hearts on the top and Hello Kitty over here on this side. So you do almost all the sides, you just don't do the bottom because you have this, you know, removable base that goes in the bottom so you can put your tissues in there. Now, as you guys have seen, these are very small. Okay, they're very, very small. Here is a regular tissue, okay, just to put it into perspective. Those are regular tissues, much larger, all right? So what I'm going to do, I've taken some out of a large box. And I'm just going to try to fold them. I saw somebody else do this. Maybe it was, well, I can't fold them that way. You got to make sure you fold them the way where the, um, the pull part is, where you can pull them. All right. Now, they look like they won't even fit in. Yeah, I don't know. Huh, I don't know if they'll fit at all. Let's see. Maybe we just mound them up here like this and put this on top. Let's see. So, it's not exactly... A, be, a good design for, for us. I think Ella got one from Kicking Cancer's Butt, and I think she took hers and, hang on, let me see if I can get this on here, turned it into a, um, like, grocery bag holder. So if you do that, get it started, pull it out, let's see, will it come out? Let's see, will it come out? Okay, I'm getting, like, three. Yeah, you know, it's not, yeah, it's not a great design. It just doesn't look, I don't want to come out. There's too much in there. I don't know. I just don't know. So I don't know if it's going to actually ever hold tissues or not. I just don't know. It's cute. I mean, you could always just use it as a, I don't know, a box. Or... Let's try a small amount. <laughs> Why not? Let's just wreck up a whole box of tissues with this, right? <laughs> All right, let's try a little amount. Let's try just a little bit. All right, let's see. Let me make my pile smaller. And let's see what happens if we use just a little, a little bit, a little small amount. Let's see if that works. And it doesn't want to fit this way. Okay, it doesn't want to fit that way. Maybe it will. I don't know. Let's see. See if we can make it fit that way. Let's see. It really fits tight. It's really snug. All right. I can see I have some diamonds on the counter here that are coming off. I definitely would need to seal this. That's for sure. Does it come out? No. Okay. It's just not going to work as a tissue holder. I just don't, I don't see any way to make it work as a tissue holder. It's cute. It certainly is cute. Maybe it just becomes a piggy bank. No, it's got holes in the bottom. I don't know. Put a piece of cardboard in the bottom so it can hold stuff. 
I just don't know. I don't see it holding tissues. I kind of like... I kind of like Ella's idea of just putting bags in it or something. She kind of folded them, and I don't know what she did. I mean, there's plenty of... Oh, man, there's a hole in that. Oh, jeez, I got drills, little rhinestones going everywhere. There's a hole in the bag, apparently, and they're just everywhere. This came home from school, and I think the tweezers poked a hole or something. But I don't know. It's cute, but it's really kind of... I don't know. Some little girl might like it to just put trinkets in. Like I said, if you put a piece of cardboard in the bottom or something, I don't know. But it's definitely got to be sealed because there are drills coming off it. And the sticker that's on here was not, like, um, even. So as you can see, there's a bunch of white up here at the top. And that should have been up higher. And then the bottom wanted to hang off. So I do have a little bit of repair to do. And tissues is not going to get, look at these, all these that fell off over here. So we're going to fix them up, we're going to seal it, and we're just going to not call it a tissue box, I guess. Anyhow, there you go, guys. She's cute. I mean, she's sparkly and she's cute, and my kids at school just loved watching me do it. They were just, like, fascinated, thought she was so pretty, but, you know, maybe i just give it to one of them here. Put candy in it or something. I don't know. Anyhow. There she is. Um, I've seen some other ones that maybe are our standard Kleenex size, but I don't know if I'm going to go try it. <laughs> this was just one of those things. Anyhow, thanks for watching, you guys. And, um, yeah, I'm on to a different project now. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.